Yo, brother, it's time for us to start talking the real, man. We've been sugarcoating too much. We've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey, guys. Well, I wasn't sure I was going to be putting out uh, this video or a series of short video snippets, but in the end, I thought, uh, what the hell, why not? Uh, some of you guys might get some useful information out of this if you're thinking about getting a uh, master. Now, uh, some of you may recall that I had access to a master for a few days. Uh, James Von Crofton bought one and had it shipped, uh, air shipped to uh, California, direct from China. And uh, he asked me, hey, do you, uh, do you want to check it out first uh, before uh, I take possession of it? And I said, <laughs> Uh, of course. So he had the wheel shipped directly to me. He never uh, saw it first. Here's a picture of it, my front porch, uh, before I pulled it into the workshop, uh, which I uh, did pronto because I only had a, a short time to play with this wheel. And uh, here's a picture of it all uh, out of the fresh out of the box. Uh, so uh, forgive the quality of these videos. Vi again, a little video of, uh, snippets. I took these uh, handheld, mostly I think with uh, my phone. But I think you might might uh, get something out of this, particularly if you're thinking about getting a master. Uh, just a few highlights of the uh, setup process. This is certainly not a full uh, uh, setup video for the for the master. Now in this. Uh, first video, I'm highlighting what you have to do to, to uh, kind of prep the batteries when you get this. Now the batteries were fully installed on this wheel, but they had the plastic uh, protective, clear plastic protective film on outside of the plastic batteries. And um, to, re to remove that, because it fully wraps around the batteries, you actually have to take each battery pack off the wheel to do that. Uh, that's what I show in this video. Here are the bolts used throughout this wheel. And had to move these two and these two. And then you can rotate the battery to get to everything to remove the plastic wrap but it's still connected into the wheel up here. So I've done this one, and I'm gonna to have to do this one, and then the two on the other side. Next, I'm geeking out over the, some of the hardware that's uh, used to uh, secure the batteries. I wanna show you that these bolts do not have Loctite, which I'm totally okay with because what they are using are, I mean, look how beefy these bolts are. I love it. Just like the Hero. They're using a washer and a lock washer and, uh, and that secures it so I don't see any issues with these coming out over time but of course you can just uh, tighten them down as needed. Now as you know most of the quote shell of the master is actually foam and um, and it's not while well, the, the seats installed but the foam padding that gives the master kind of a unique look uh, you have to apply and that's what I'm doing in this video. Now, uh, as with all things Gotway, uh, they, they get very close to hitting, uh, checking all the check boxes, but they uh, quite often miss. Like, uh, I like to th think that they, they design these wheels on paper, then they order all the parts, the shell, the foam, everything. It comes together, and then, of course, some bits don't quite work right, and then they go, eh, Let's ship them anyway. <laughs> they don't. I don't think they iterate the design. I don't think they they get prototypes, put it all together, and say, um, "Yeah, I think we need to adjust this for a better fit." And uh, 
here I show what uh, what I had to do to get the perfect fit on these side pads. Here is one issue with the pad placement, which I knew about ahead of time. You can see they have, so this is a pad that goes on the bottom and they have these uh, predefined cutouts for the battery bolts. But in this area, they did not provide a cutout for these two bolts. So this area won't sit flat if you don't do something about that. So you can, uh, well, you're going to have to cut this section of the pad out by a quarter inch or so, exacto uh, knife or something. Now, I don't, I'm kind of anal in this regards. So <laughs> I used a quarter inch Forstner bit, which works really good on rubber and doesn't grab like a, a regular drill bit will. And uh, I drilled two holes so you can't see anything from the outside. And voila, nice clean look. This is another geek out uh, video segment on, again, the hardware. I'm just so impressed with the hardware build of the master, the uh, metal everywhere, so, so little plastic, uh, even the little things as I show here. I just want to point out some of the quality in this master, which uh, is, I just think is exceptional. And the build quality, I mean, there is metal everywhere. Look at this side where the motor wire is coming out. And they have these clips here. Not plastic, metal. Metal everywhere on this guy. Bolts. <laughs> the only wood screws that I see are on the, the battery, the plastic battery shell. Everything else on this wheel is based on this metal framework. Uh, just like the Hero, which I was hoping for. In this final video, I'm talking about uh, the pedals that come with the Master. And these appear to be the new standard. Uh, I first had access to these on the Hero, my Hero. And I love them. And uh, in my opinion, these are the best stock pedals available in uh, any wheel currently being made. Any non Gatway uh, Bigode, Bigode wheel. <laughs> I really love these pedals. And here I'm just um, highlighting the, uh, the features and pointing out uh, some features, in particular the the setting for the pedal tension that uh, might not be totally obvious to you if you get, when you get your master. Again, I personally really like these new stock pedals from Gatway. Love them actually. I want to point out it's not obvious to you if you've never seen these before, but they're fully adjustable for the dihedral angle, how much of an angle this way you want. That's you loosen up these and then use these grub screws to adjust the angle. And then this is for adjusting how stiff the wheel, the, the pedal moves this way. So I'm putting this back on. And the grub screws for the pedal handler have these plastic bits. Basically, you, you tighten down both sides on the bolt. It kind of ties the bolt to the pedal. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> so on the other pedal, those plastic bits were on both. On this uh, pedal, only one of them had it. On my Hero, none of these had that uh, plastic. Uh, typical Gatway. <laughs> Nothing I'm surprised about.
Just tighten these down so they don't move anymore. Now this is floppy. Okay, now it's, that feels about good. And you're done. All right, well, that is it. Hope you enjoyed those uh, little snippets. Now I had this wheel for a few days. I, uh, I've already put out one video where I took it up in a mountain ride, kind of just uh, where I really flushed out how, how it rode and some of its characteristics. Now I have one other video. I only had the wheel for three days, uh, but uh, the last video I need to get out next, uh, maybe the next video, uh, will be where I take this wheel up, uh, do a 4,500 foot climb, and I test out uh, the shocks, how it works for the kind of trail riding that I enjoy doing, and uh, how this wheel is awesome in terms of keeping cool under pressure. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and um, until next time, safe riding.